What is up, everybody? Long time no see. Uh, let's go downtown and see if we can find some movies. I haven't been there since the crackhead situation, but hopefully that shouldn't be a problem. Let's go and let's see if we can pick up anything cool. It's the dreaded hallway where I got stopped by crackhead. Here we go. We're back in the safety and security of our homes. Uh, did a little bit of stealth uh, camera work because I just didn't want to be caught in a situation again. But I did pick up quite a few things. I think six titles I picked up. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six titles. I'm already kind of having buyer's remorse because for some reason it completely slipped my mind that there's going to be a Kino sale next month. There's going to be a few other uh, sales and stuff like that. They're like, oh, fuck, I probably shouldn't have gotten these things. But they've been on my wish list for the longest time. Saw it in person, so I had to pick it up. One of the main things that I was surprised to see that it came with the slip. This was a way too much. I, sh I shouldn't have paid this much. But when it came with the slip cover, and you know, 
it's Rambo. I love it. Fucking Rambo Part 2. First Blood Part 2. Not my favorite movie of all time. In fact, I would say this is the worst Rambo. Uh, in my opinion, obviously, but with this nice look, I love this artwork that they chose for the front. $36, oof. Like in the US, this is like $7, but here it's hella expensive, but again, it came with a slip cover. I do enjoy these Rambo movies for how silly they can be, but uh, with the slip cover, uh, I heard the, tr the uh, transfers are really good. I have the first Rambo, I have the last Blood, and I have Rambo 4. Now I have Rambo First Blood Part 2 on 4K Blu-ray. Really excited to get into these 4Ks, do f f reviews or something and stuff like that, but I believe this comes with a uh, digital code that is not available in Canada. So, uh, yeah, so I will be doing a giveaway right now because I do love all of you very dearly. Uh, I appreciate all of the support that you guys have given me throughout these past years, or year, I guess. Technically a little over a year. And, uh, this I don't know if this will work or not, but hopefully it does. So, boom. Rambo First Blood Part 2. Not Rambo 2, Rambo First Blood Part 2. And it is gone forever in the multiverse of whatever. I do really enjoy this... Uh, the series, you know, when it comes to what what is what is it what's comparable to the Arnold Schwar Schwarzenegger? I guess Terminator, maybe I don't know because what is because Sylvester Stallone has a bunch of really big franchises when it comes to like Rambo, Rocky. I think Sylvester Stallone could be like Gone with the Wind, but like Arnold has he has uh, what's it called Terminator? But I think is that is that the only like long running franchise? With multiple sequels that he stars in, I'm um, I'm drawing a blank. I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. These security stickers off. I hate the security stickers. But yeah, thirty six dollars. I feel like I paid way too much for it. But dude, I just love the Rambo movies. I don't know what to say. There's a lot of really good heart to it. Fantastic action scenes, and it's just when it comes to cheesy '80s actions, you can't go wrong, and you can't steer farther away. Or you can't go wrong with uh, the Rambo series. And because they had actually all of the Rambo movies, uh, I had to pick up. Well, I didn't have to. I just wanted to. Rambo 3. This is actually my second favorite Rambo uh, in this series. Now, I know a lot of people hate this movie. I just, I just love it. There's a lot of heart to it. A lot of actual deep emotions. Some great action scenes. Um, really great cinematography and use of, uh, of its location taking place in Afghanistan. So, that's why I do like it more than... Rambo 2, I think there's a few forests, but that's it. It doesn't really get the grand scale of what, you know, Vietnam is. I don't even know if it was filmed in Vietnam. Uh, but Rambo 3 is fantastic. A lot of really good, like, it, it, it delves you into the culture of Afghanistan, stuff like that. So, I'm excited to... This also comes with this uh, digital code, which I'll be giving away. Because it, it, it doesn't... These were never released in Canada, because I think they're Lionsgate, right? Yeah, Lionsgate... For some reason, they hate Canadians, and they don't release their products in Canada, even though we're literally, we're right across from you guys. We're right on top of you. I guess that's maybe why we're on top of America. Uh, but here is the digital code for Rambo 3. So hopefully this works for you guys. It says it may not be valid after 2020. Who knows? Uh, let me know down below if that works for you guys. But yeah, um, long time no see, guys. It's been like almost what ten days, maybe, without an upload. Uh, just because I've 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 just been watching movies. Like, if you follow me on Letterbox, link in the description. I've been watching a bunch of movies, rating them, spending time with my family. Uh, also trying to reschedule my sleep schedule. I've been waking up, I'm going to sleep at really weird hours. But boom. Rambo 3, no slip cover, so that's why it hurts a bit to spend that ma that much amount. But I just love these Rambo movies, and now I have, I now have every single Rambo. I got, I got First Blood, Rambo First Blood Part 2, Rambo 3, uh, John Rambo, or just Rambo, I guess, and then I got Last Blood. So now I have all the Rambo movies, so I'm excited to do a whole thing like that. This one was the cheapest. Now, uh, I don't know if this is bad. I've heard... Uh, conflicting statements whether the transfer is good 
whether the transfer is bad. Uh, some people really like the HDR, some people hate the HDR. It's kind of like heat, where there will be defenders and there will be naysayers. Like for heat, for me, I think the image quality is fantastic. The HDR is where it suffers because it, it, it kind of takes a delve into where the stylistic choices from Michael Mann kind of ruins, and eh, not ruins, but it kind of, his stylistic choice and what he wanted for his movie to look like is kind of what takes away from the HDR. Overly blue, overly dark. You don't really get really nice highlights, but again, that's his vision. Uh, so at least, you know, great 4K image, no speckles, no dirt. It was very clean, no DNR, and it, it looked fantastic, it's just the HDR. And I think the same goes with this transfer. Got it for under 20 bucks. That is Goodfellas on 4K Blu-ray because I've been itching for a rewatch and ever since I started making my own custom slip covers, I just have so many really cool ideas for this. Now I know I'll never find a slip cover with this because it's pretty rare, uh, but you know, I'm excited to uh, rewatch this. I haven't seen this in a couple years. The last time I watched it was on Netflix because I had that old shitty 2006 Blu-ray. One of the worst looking Blu-rays ever made, like it looks terrible, so I'm glad to finally have this in the collection. I don't know why, but the early, early Martin Scorsese films on Blu-ray 2006, 2007 Blu-rays look terrible. Gangs of New York looks awful, like I'd rather watch the shitty compressed Netflix version over the pixelated, terribly uh, restored uh, 4K, I mean Blu-ray. It literally looks like a uh, looks worse than a VHS. Very, really terribly done Blu-rays. So, I heard there was a 25th anniversary edition that came out in 2015, uh, which had the 4K new 4K restoration, which is actually oh, which is actually better than this because it doesn't have the overly abundance of the overexposed uh, or over contrasted HDR. But you know, I I saw the review from um, what's his name. I'm drawing a blank, but I saw a 4K reviewer, pretty prevalent 4K viewer, who's also Indian, um, gave this a great rating. So I am gonna trust him. I've trusted him before. So Brass Tax. I don't know why that that slipped my mind for some reason. But Brass Tax said this was a good transfer. So you better be right, Brass Tax. <laughs> and then I picked this up because. Fuck, dude. I I spent way too much on this, but this is a masterpiece of a film. I absolutely love it. I watched it two times. The first time I watched it was in 35mm, um, which I was going to make a whole video about it, but I just never got to it. Uh, but the 35mm screening looked absolutely beautiful, so I thought, you know, the 4K... Uh, I put it in my honorable mentions, but I haven't seen it personally. But I finally got Pulp Fiction on 4K Blu-ray. This is the Steelbook Edition. I just absolutely love the artwork on the steelbook. I remember when it first came. I remember when the, the first images came out. Everybody was shitting on it. Everybody from Timbuktu to um, California to Mexico to Yugoslavia to Ukraine, everyone was saying how shitty the artwork was. And as soon as this dropped, everyone was posting pictures of their 4K steelbooks of Pulp Fiction. And I'm like, you got, you know who you are. I know who you are, you know who you are, you were shitting on this artwork, I was the only one who said this was good artwork, and everyone bought this version. Because it's like one of the best movies ever made, freaking Pulp Fiction, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I absolutely love this, I get like a 9 out of 10, 4.5 stars out of out of 5. Um, but absolutely fantastic, it was the last steelbook that they had, so I had to pick it up. Um, Again, the, the normal slipcover version is okay, but it, it's the same picture of Uma Thurman sitting on the bed, which we've seen in every single release from DVD to Blu-ray and now in 4K. So I like the difference of this. So that is why I picked this up on 4K. So yeah. And then I got two more pickups. These were Kino, uh, Kino releases, uh, mov movies I don't like. So I don't know why I picked them up, even though there's a sale in March. I don't know. Um, Payday happened and I just saw this and I had to pick it up. They came with slip covers, so maybe that's why I'm just a I'm a I'm a dum dum. But I got here indecent proposal. Um I don't like this movie, but here I am with it in my collection of Kino Lorber because I just love Kino Lorber and I have to pick up every 4K. Now now it's not even an option at this point. Rawhead Rex is coming out soon. Whole lot of four, Kino 4Ks are coming out soon. I'll probably hold off on those, except for Marathon Man, because I need to secure that, because that's like one of, my, one of my favorite movies of all time. 
but um rawhead rex the upcoming other 4ks i'm gonna hold off because i think in march every year there's been a march sale so i'll probably hold off on that but it came with the slip cover i love robert redford and woody harrelson uh my dad's seen this movie he was like oh is this a movie about that and i'm like yeah he's like oh it's a i'm like yeah but whatever you know everyone has different opinions on movies that's just my opinion uh god bless you if you like this movie but it's a kino 4k i have to pick it up and this movie, I will give it another chance because I remember I, I liked it. I just didn't like what it was saying. The, the, the message of this movie was very, ooh, it was very uh, not mine. But you can't really downplay a movie if the political opinions or whatever is not with you or you don't agree with them, obviously. If, if the basis of the performances and the, the filmmaking, if it's good, then it's good. So I picked up Dress to Kill on 4k uh i know there's a criterion blu-ray for this i watched it for the first time i thought it was a good movie i just didn't like the it was just weird i didn't like what it was trying to say when it comes to certain things it's basically it's brian de palma's homage to psycho he has a few films that are homages to other films that he is inspired by uh this is an homage to psycho and it does the job pretty well there are some really good pov shots i do like you know the uh, what how what it goes for and what it's trying to say and what it's trying to do i just don't agree with certain aspects of it but uh, uh it's it's a kino lorber 4k now i gotta get marathon man i have a list actually of all the things i want to get but i'll wait for the sale but that was my pickup those are my pickups of the day we got here one we got here uh one two three one two three four five six 4k blu-rays from the bay street video Thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm Mason from the Mockbus YouTube channel. Again, let me know down below if those digital codes worked for you guys, or I guess the lucky person who first sees this. That's why you got to turn on the notifications when you subscribe, because you might get a free digital code. Who knows? So, again, thank you so much for watching another video of mine. I'm Mason from the Mockbus YouTube channel. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, because it is free. It's free. It literally costs nothing, and it means a whole lot to me. So... Yeah, have a good day, and uh, until I see you, uh, have a good one. Peace out, guys.